Yo, so what's up? Uh, welcome back. This is the GT2 RS that I just finished modeling. Um, it's from the headlight tutorial that I did. Uh, yeah, so for the tutorial, we're not actually going to be making this uh, exact GT2 RS. We're going to be making a GT3 RS, which is, uh, you know, it's kind of close enough. Um, but I wanted to finish it first so that, uh, you know, when I like make the tutorial I'm not lost or anything and I have you know some of an idea and some topology that I've done before that I can you know show with you guys because um, honestly it's a lot of fiddling around and I don't want to have you know like really long fiddly tutorials uh, I want to like you know be snappy and know what I'm doing which is why I did everything first um, you know and here this file is pretty well organized um, so I'll show you, you know, at the end how how we can like make it really nice. Um, it does have an interior, but it's just a copied interior, uh, so it it, sh it really shouldn't match uh, because I just wanted to get it done so I can move on to tutorial. But for this one, I mean for the GT3 that we're gonna be making, I will be doing a better interior with you guys and showing you how I approach it because honestly, there's not enough, there's not many tutorials on YouTube that actually cover the interior, uh, and you know, I had to learn how to make an interior kind of like by myself. Um, and I want you guys to have that uh, in this tutorial. Um, so yeah, in this part, we're just going to be making, uh, like putting up the reference images and the background images. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it and you learn something. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll be able to check all the parts um, that come out in the tutorial. So yeah, let's get into it. Right, so this is the set of blueprints I found. You can find them pretty easily by going onto Google and just searching for blueprints, or you can go to this website itself, the blueprints. They have a bunch of them there. Uh, this is a free version. You can get paid versions that are vector files, so it'll be really high quality. This isn't the highest quality you can get, but uh, I think it's high quality enough. You know, I've made enough models with, you know, low, low quality blueprints, and they turn out, you know, fine. Uh, because, you know, the vector ones, they cost $20, and I don't have that kind of money. But yeah, uh, it's up to you. Find the blueprints, and I'll show you how to set them up. Uh, one thing that I do like about this website is all the blueprints are more or less to scale. So, uh, no resizing required. Yeah, so now we're in Blender. Uh, first, I also want to say thanks to the creator of Shortcut Viewer. Uh, I'll link it down below. It's really useful, so you guys can see what keys I'm pressing in the uh, bottom corner. So yeah, uh, if I forget to mention a key, you'll see what I'm doing. Anyways, uh, before we actually do any modeling and setting up, I just want to show you guys, you know, like how to navigate the view space because the purpose of this tutorial is me making a tutorial that I would like to have, I would have liked to have when I first started. So like, I, I'll try and cover everything that I wanted when I started. So navigating the workspace, use your middle mouse. Uh, I would model with a mouse. I used to model with a trackpad, but uh, now that I'm on a mouse, it's so much, uh, it's so much nicer. So I use your middle mouse to uh, rotate, and shift and middle mouse to pan, uh, like that, and then uh, that's like these keys in itself are enough to move around the workspace, uh, and use use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out, uh, which is, you know, pretty important. Uh, and next, uh, so if you have a uh, computer or like a keyboard or laptop with a uh, numpad, you, you can use your numpad to swipe between views. So uh, one, three, uh, seven for top, and then one, and then if you hold control, you can back view and so you get the right side, and if you control on three, you get the left. Same with top, if you will control, you just get the bottom. Um, and there's two views in uh, the views. It's perspective right there. And if you press five on your notepad, you get orthographic. So you can configure it so that you can only see your uh, blueprints in orthographic mode. So when you know when you go to this front view in orthographic, when it's uh, if you turn it off, you'll see what it looks like. It just gives it a, you know, 
another dimension kind of so it's not flat um, but yeah you can configure it so that you can't see the blueprints when you're panning around like this or if you want to you can um, I'll show you how to do that later um, if you do not have a numpad uh, if you go to your preferences and input I think you can emulate a numpad and, and that just means that when you click on your uh, regular keys you can go to the views. If you don't have that, if you're in edit mode, by going tab to go in edit mode, one, two, and three, I think just control uh, which select mode you're in. But yeah, um, it's up to you. I I'm kind of used to using like the top bar to navigate views, but now that I have a numpad, I think it's just easier to separate them because you just get much more control. And uh, another one on the numpad is numpad zero, which just brings you to your camera and then yeah you can move your camera but we'll not worry about the camera right now we're just going to delete the camera and we're going to delete that light for the time being because we're just going to do some mod. So now let's go into front view um, and so I'm in Blender uh, 2.9 uh, and so the way you do blueprints now is go to shift A image and you add in a background image or yeah, that's what you call it. And I'm just going to pick my background image. And we'll see. We got it. It's nice. Uh, so what some people do is they split it up. Um, but <laughs> like I said before, I don't have an image, like a good image editing software yet. Uh, on this computer at least. So I'm just going to like, you know, do it like this. Because uh, it's never bothered me. So yeah, we'll use G to move it around. Uh, so first we're just going to G and we're going to the blue axis right there you can see is the Z axis so you know like in math class or something you'll be used to like I don't know, like Y as the up and down but in Blender it's Z for the up and down I, I think you can change that but I, I just leave it because you know it's more familiar now so you press G and then you press Z and it locks it along the Z so you can only move it along the Z and then move it down so that the wheels touch and once you're doing that if you hold shift uh, it's kind of hard to see the keys I'm pressing because it's a white background but if you hold shift you can move it a bit more precise and we're just going to move it until that like what it looks like the outline is touching and that's good and then I'm going to lock it to the X which is the red axis and then I'm going to try and align it with this blue axis because that represents the middle of the scene so we'll zoom in the logo and then see if that centers up nicely. Yeah, um, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to configure the reference images so they, they're less intrusive on our scene. So go to this panel right here on the, uh, uh, the properties tab. If you don't have that, click this button and enable your properties. And we'll turn on transparency, and I'm just going to bring down the opacity to like something you're comfortable with, 0.2, enough so that you can still make out the lines. Um, but you know, if we're in object mode, your object is like, you know, fine. Uh, and you use Z to switch between views between solid and wireframe. Um, yeah, and we'll leave it at that. We want the um, uh, background to be in the back because if it's in the front then it you could it's see-through kind of and uh, if you want that it's fine but once you like start having stuff it can kind of get in the way so just leave it in the back uh, and this is what I was saying before so right now it's only visible in orthographic view so if we press 5 to go to orthographic view we can see it uh, and if you want it in perspective you can have it uh, I think it just gets in the way too much, so I don't, I don't personally use it, but you can if you want to. So yeah, we're gonna bring this back, the cube back in, because we want it to use it. We want to use it to line up the uh, reference image. So yeah, we want to line up the different views. So we're gonna do all the scaling in object mode by pressing, sorry, in edit mode by pressing tab. So when you're in edit, when you're in edit mode, you'll know because you can select the individual vertices. So yeah, I'm gonna scale it in. So it's like in line. Uh, I should be all right. Before I do that, let me just delete it. I'm adding a new one, 
and then tab Z and then I'm gonna hold control and when you use control it snaps it based on increments right there uh, and I'm just gonna call control to snap it until it's perfectly in line with the X axis and now that we have that now I'm gonna start like bringing it in so I'm gonna bring it to so it's touching the topmost part of the car and the bottom most part and then here I'm gonna scale it along the X so it's touching the like wide most part of the car yeah so you can see that it's not the blueprint itself isn't exactly lined up so just like fiddle with that until you like it and then then this view is lined up and then let's just save our file uh, uh, always save your file just have a habit to like just control s because you don't want to lose it and now we'll, next we'll do the side view uh, we're going to shift a add a background image and it'll already be selected here so you can just load it without having to find it and then we're going to just gz and bring that down until we have the outline of the wheel touching he's holding shift to be precise uh, and so it doesn't have to be you don't have to move it if you want to you can I like moving it back so it's a bit more centered there on the uh, Z axis so yeah I just move it back slightly and now that we have this we're just gonna scale it up to meet the most extreme points so the back it's gonna bring it back to meet that and then the front we're gonna bring it until it hits yeah the most extreme point nice and then we're gonna do the same thing here where we bring the transparency down cool all right now we have that we're gonna add the top view now uh, so if you look at it from side view we knew the front is this direction so when you press top view we know the front's there so we need this to rotate so the front's facing forward so I think it's rotate by so R so make sure you're in top view R minus 90 or R 270 you know uh, this is the same and at this point I'm just gonna freely move it to line it up because I know that the background image so the cube that I made will line it up just fine because yeah so if it fights sorry, if it fits tight in the queue uh, you know that it's, you know that it'll fit kind of you know that's why we make the cube uh, and we'll do the same thing transparency and point two you can type it I'm just lazy and then finally we do the back view um, I'm just gonna set the transparency up there yep and then now we'll do Z move it on the Z axis um, and then line it up and then G and X perfect and yeah there we go all our views are lined up and save look at it from every view and yeah so now that this is done we're pretty much ready to model uh, so yeah you can delete the cube um, yeah we're actually, so this is all I'm gonna do for this part uh, the, er, yeah so we're just gonna start modeling next episode uh, which will come pretty soon because in real life I'm like I'm gonna model it next I just don't have a long video but yeah Hopefully you don't have to wait too long for the next part. Um, yeah, subscribe, because then you won't miss anything I post. Yeah. All right. See. Uh, yeah. So one thing I forgot to say is, uh, if you do want access to this um, specific file right here, um, uh, still has everything, um, all these, and three other um, cars that I made in the past a Ferrari 250, uh, a Lamborghini Centenario, and a Porsche 992. I will have those Blender files available on my Patreon 
uh, for five dollars a month and you guys can download the files and check them out they're all cycles and I think EV ready uh, I'm not gonna have them up this episode but maybe if you're looking at this tutorial in the future you'll see it in the description but yeah I'm gonna have that set up for the future um, just because I want you guys to have access to my files uh, you know if you want to look at and see how it's done and then um, the uh, files for this final tutorial will be up there I guess when we finish it but yeah uh, if you guys want to check that out uh, it'll be either in the description of this episode depending on when you watch it or in a future episode um, you know when I have it set up 